your shark book and activity that I set up for you yesterday. And today we're going to continue with the theme of underwater ocean creatures. And today we're going to learn more about coral reefs. And I know I taught this in school and a lot of my students were able to learn about coral reefs underwater. But today I'm going to teach you about coral reefs by reading a book. And then I found a really fun recipe you can use with your family in order to make a coral reef dessert. I know a lot of you were emailing me and commenting to me about the dessert you made yesterday, the shark jello. So I went ahead and I found another dessert for you to make at home with your families. And it is made up of ingredients that you can find again at the dollar store or you might already have at home. And then I have an exciting surprise for you at the end of this video that you're able to look at at home as well. So first I wanna begin by asking, what is a coral reef? And there's a picture of it on the right side of this slide. And a coral reef is a large underwater structure made of living and dead corals. And using my eagle eye, and that's when we really zoom in on an image, I can see that it consists of a lot of different colors. I see pink, purple, I see tan coral underwater. And then above I can see looks like a lot of fish. It looks like over 100 fish swimming above the coral reef. So it seems to me like they're enjoying that fish are at the, the fish are enjoying the coral reefs. So we're going to learn a lot about coral reefs today through a story and through fact and opinion charts. You may have seen a fact and opinion charts in class, but if you don't know what they are, a fact is a real piece of information about a certain topic or subject. It's something that's real and true about something. So a fact about me is I have brown hair. That's a fact. It's true. It's real information about me. An opinion is when you like or dislike something. So an opinion would be I like my brown hair. That's an opinion. Some people might not like brown hair and that's okay too. Everyone has their own opinion. So today I'm going to be filling out an, a fact and an opinion chart about coral reefs. So if you look again at this picture from the first slide, I think in my opinion that the coral reefs are beautiful. You might not think the coral reefs are beautiful, so you would have a different opinion than me. But since I'm making this video and I'm the one typing, I'm going to write my opinion. And my opinion is coral reefs are beautiful. And you can always have a different opinion and please let me know in your private comments to me. Coral reefs are beautiful and I'm also going to write I love the colors of the coral reefs. Again, this might be different. You might not like the pink and the tan and the purple colors, and that's okay. Your opinion would be, I don't love the colors of a coral reef, and that's okay too. So now I'll be reading a short story about life in a coral reef, and we're going to come back to this fact and opinion chart so we can fill out the facts about coral reefs. And then afterward, we're going to go over the coral reef dessert and a fun activity I found for us at home. So hi everyone. So now I'm going to be reading Life in a Coral Reef. And remember, we are looking for facts about coral reefs. So not our opinion, not how we feel, but actual real life facts about these coral reefs. Life in a coral reef, the coral reef biome. Okay, coral reefs are among the world's most colorful biomes. Many beautiful plants and animals live there. Tube-shaped animals called coral polyps build up reefs over time. They, they grow hard skeletons and attach to those of dead corals. So we see on the left the coral reef biome consisting of plants and animals. And then on the right we see the coral polyps.
and coral polyps build up reefs over time. Most coral reefs live in the warm tropics. There are three main types of tropical reefs. Fringing reefs stretch along shores. Barrier reefs are farther out. Ring-shaped atolls rise from the sunken islands. And at the bottom, we can see the fringing bear and the different reefs, the climate. Tropical coral reefs have a warm climate. The sun shines through the clear, shallow salt water. Water temperatures usually stay between 65 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So we see the climate of the Red Sea coral reef and the, the Kim Bay coral reef. Too much wind and rain can move rocks and mud into shallow reefs. The clear water becomes cloudy. Then less sunlight reaches reef plants. This can affect the whole coral reef food chain. So they can obviously change over time. Tiny algae grow all over the warm coral reefs. The algae live inside the coral polyps. The animals and algae trade gases they need to live. Larger algae called seaweeds color coral reefs. Red seaweeds grow in deeper waters than green ones. Their color helps them capture more sunlight. We can see the red seaweed at the bottom. Meadows of seagrass often form around coral reefs. They provide animals with food to eat and nurseries for babies. Near some reefs, mangroves grow. These trees have special roots. They are able to separate water from salt. And we see the green sea turtle and the seagrass at the bottom of the ocean. Coral reefs are full of strange creatures, colorful bodies that many blend with the reefs. This helps them hunt or hide. Flat animals move through tight spaces. Pointed ones protect themselves or poke their food. Other animals suction cups to stay put. Many reef animals need one another to survive. Some offer safe places to live. Others share their food. Some fish and shrimp are cleaners. They remove dead skin and parasites from larger animals. And we see the clownfish and the yellow edge moray eel. The Great Barrier Reef. And we can see the size of the reef and the temperatures and the food web. And then of course, at the end for vocabulary terms, we have our glossary. So I hope you enjoy learning about more about the coral reefs. A lot about, about coral reefs just by reading that one book. So there are so many resources online for you to learn more about a certain subject or topic. And since a the theme this week is underwater creatures and oceans and animals, I wanted to dive in more about the coral reefs. So now it's time to write a fact, and a fact is something that's true about a topic. So after reading that story, I learned that coral reefs are in warm tropical waters. So we wouldn't find those beautiful reefs in New Jersey because the temperature of the water is cold until about August, really cold so you can't just go to the beach and swim underwater and look for those bright pink and red coral reefs you'd have to go deeper into warm climate tropical waters something else i learned is that seaweed helps capture the sunlight so seaweed the red seaweed we saw a picture of helps capture more sunlight okay because just like plants they need sunlight to survive and something else I learned, one more fact, is that many creatures camouflage and hide 
in the coral reefs. They hide to capture prey and they're actually hiding from their predators. They don't want to get eaten either. So many creatures camouflage to blend in with the coral reefs. So that's a very interesting fact as well. So there were different facts on every page. So your facts on your chart might look a little different than my facts. So please write me a private comment and message me about the different facts that you found interesting. So now I'm gonna introduce you to an edible coral reef dessert that seems so delicious. I know I'm going to make it at home. So the ingredients that you need are melted chocolate, sprinkles, large marshmallows, toothpicks, and pull away Twizzlers. Twizzlers are just red licorice candies that you can easily get at the dollar store. Step one, give the marshmallow holes. Give each child or members of your family a marshmallow and a toothpick. With the toothpick, add six holes in the top of the marshmallow and set it to the side. These will be the holes for the tentacles later. And you can see in the picture, the person made six holes. Step two, cover in chocolate. Next, pour a small amount of melted chocolate on everyone's plate and roll the marshmallow in the chocolate. This is the exoskeleton of the coral, the hard calcium carbonate. So the hard exterior is the, actually the chocolate. Step three is to add sprinkles. Next, add a layer of sprinkles to the outside of the chocolate. This will be the helpful algae, the living organisms in the coral's tissue. So, so far we have the marshmallow, which is going to be the inside of our coral reef. We have the hard exterior skeleton, and then the sprinkles, which is the organisms in the tissue. And the last and final step is to add the licorice, which is the Twizzler. So finally, using a toothpick or your fingers, push the small licorice ropes into each hole. This will be the tentacles of the coral. Finally, if everyone in your family has completed their individual coral, everyone places their corals together on a plate and the coral pieces will start to fuse together. This is what happens when the calcium carbonate skeleton is formed. So once you place you and your family members coral reefs on the same plate, it'll look like a coral reef foundation underwater. So please send me your pictures and videos if you make this at home. The last part of my video today is my surprise that I got so excited for you all to see. It's a real life underwater camera that's live. So right now, as you're watching this video, as I'm creating this video, this is happening in the Cayman Reef, which is a warm tropical climate water where fish and coral reefs are swimming and existing. So we can see right now, this is a real coral reef right in front of us. And you can see all different types of coral reefs on this website. If you go to explore.org slash live cams slash oceans, you don't have to type in Cayman Reef because this is this specific coral reef that I wanted to share with you. So we can see all, all and the camera it rotates, it goes back and forth. Sometimes it zooms in on fish. So this is right now in this moment, this underwater camera that's alive. So it's interesting for us because our lesson today was about coral reefs. So now we get to see live action coral reef videos. We can see the fish swimming. And remember one of our facts was that fish and creatures like to camouflage in the coral reef. So you may not even see certain fish and creatures because they're camouflaging. You can see how close they're getting to the camera. And it doesn't stay in one spot, which I love. You get to see and experience the entire coral reef. I can sit here and watch this all day. This is so interesting for me to see as a teacher. So I'm sure it's very exciting for you to see as students at home. So it has plenty of options at the bottom. You can see all the different live underwater cameras. Oh, see the shark one, the great white shark camera. So let's try a tropical reef aquarium. So this one 
is at an aquarium that you can go to and see in Long Beach, California. So let's see what these fish are up to. Wow, so this camera, oh, look at the fish that's coming right up to the camera. This is so crazy. I see hundreds of fish, but it looks kind of dark down there on the left side. So hopefully that this, this coral reef is getting enough sunlight in order to survive. I do see a peak of sunlight. Wow, look at these fish coming right up to the camera. Again, this website is explore.org slash live cam slash oceans. And you can take a look at all of the fish. This is their home. This is where they swim and live and survive. And like I said, we don't even see all the creatures. A lot of them are blending in and camouflaging in the coral reef. So this is so interesting for me to see this. And you can go onto this website and watch it anytime. You can go watch the shark videos. Maybe I'll make a video about that. Show your family, share it with your friends. Yeah, you have a lot of options on this website. It's not just coral reefs, it's all these different animals happening right now in this moment. So I hope you enjoyed learning about coral reefs. Please write to me and share how much you liked it, what maybe you didn't like. Tell me your opinions on coral reefs and maybe what you learned today. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. And I will see you all.